Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up, a murder suspect's unusual, uh, helper, a ridiculously fast camera, and just what every wholesome family needs, a four-door sedan that goes 204 miles an hour. Technology has taken center stage at a Florida murder trial involving Pedro Bravo, who is accused of killing his roommate, then hiding the body. But a central point in the case is whether Bravo had some help in allegedly hiding the remains of Christian Aguilar back in 2012, and whether that help came from Siri, the iPhone's friendly personal assistant. Prosecutors say they have evidence Bravo asked Siri, quote, I need help hiding my roommate, end quote. Siri's somewhat macabre response, had he considered swamps, reservoirs, metal foundries, or dumps? Wow, apparently Siri's a big fan of mob films or something. But it looks like Apple has tweaked Siri a bit since then because if you ask it the same thing now, Siri responds with a more diplomatic request for a clarification. The trial is still underway. Digital cameras are getting more sophisticated every year, and one popular new feature is slow motion photography. But some Japanese researchers have developed a camera that puts your little 120 frame per second toy to shame. According to a report published in tech photo forum Nature Photonics, the researchers have produced a camera that can take 4.4 trillion, that's with a T, shots per second. That should make for some fun slow-mo of those hummingbirds. Really though, the camera will be used to capture super short-term events that include chemical reactions, the movement of light, which is something MIT has already done, and even the movements of atoms. That sounds awesome, but how long is it going to take to download 4 trillion photos? American automaker Dodge sent shockwaves through the automotive world recently when they announced their new Hellcat muscle car was going to pack 707 horsepower, which is much more than some supercars costing five times as much, or even more. Of course, the only reasonable thing to do next was to drop that monster motor in the Dodge Charger, the Challenger's four-door cousin, which has much more of a family hauler vibe. And now we've learned they're going to do exactly that. Called the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, this super-powered family truckster will probably be the ultimate sleeper car, seeing as how it has a top speed of 204 miles an hour. That kind of lunacy, which we love, should make the supercharged Charger the fastest sedan on the planet. Take that, Germany. How much will it cost? Dodge hasn't said yet, but seeing as how the Hellcat is going for just 60 grand, we think the Charger will probably be in the same neighborhood. So you'll have money left over to pay off those speeding tickets or make bail. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you next week.